Nauvoo, Illinois, October 7th, 1888, Deseret News. We have since our arrival here met and conversed with a number of the leading men of the town. Among those, we will make special mention of Major L.C. Bideman, husband of the late Emma Smith, widow of the Prophet Joseph. He is a remarkably well-preserved man, now nearly 83 years old, and withal, sociable and agreeable, and his manners being somewhat inclined to be witty. We asked him a number of questions which he answered in a straightforward manner. In regards to Joseph Smith, candor compels me to say that he was a noble man. Yes, a nobleman indeed. I never met his equal in all my life, and I only saw him once. But that occasion I shall never forget. A certain phrenologist had invited me to accompany him to Nauvoo to pay Joseph a visit. The professor desiring to make an examination of his head. We found Joseph walking in the garden. He received us kindly and soon invited us into the house where I had a two hours conversation with him. His manners, movements, and whole deportment made a deep and lasting impression upon me and convinced me that he was not the imposter and wicked man he had been represented by his enemies to be. To me, he appeared to be a good, honest, and noble-hearted man, and from all I have ever learned about him since, I have not had occasion to change my opinion about him. In answer to further inquiry, the Major described the Prophet as a very good-looking man with light complexion and light brown hair. He was strongly built and well-proportioned, was about six feet high and weighed 200 pounds. Signed, Andrew Jensen, Edward Stevenson, Joseph S. Black.